Hello everyone, I am back again to answer your doubt about Parkinson's disease. My name is Dr. Purur Dhawan and I hope you all are doing well. Today I will be discussing the topic of memory deficit in the Parkinson's disease. As we all know, loss of thinking and memories is a symptom which are common in Parkinson's patient. But not everyone experiences them. In some people, these symptoms are mild which doesn't impact their work or daily activities whereas in some people it seems to be at severe levels to fix this we can train our brain to lower the symptom of memory loss caused by this disease because the brain can easily adapt and train for things now let me explain in short how the brain remembers everything so it's all about connections of neurons Memories are stored in brain with the help of specialized cells. But how we create memories? When we see something even as simple as a flower, we form a memory of that flower as an information that is stored in our specific cells of our brain. So that the next time when we see the same flower, the brain will recognize what kind of flower it was. So it's very important to concentrate when we work and make memory of something. Now I will tell you a few points that can strengthen your memory. The first is concentration or focus. I must say good concentration will enhance your memory. Focusing your attention on a task for a prolonged period of time can enhance your ability to remember information and improve your overall memory retention. Second is storage. So the brain has specialized neurons that store memories. When someone has Parkinson's disease, these cells can be damaged. In that case, we often struggle to concentrate on anything. The reason behind this, when we store any information in our brain, it totally depends on group of cells, which is known as tissue. If there is damage to the brain cell, but one part remain functional, we must slow down the degradation process of that part. If we fail to do so, there is no point in taking Sindopa or dopamine medication as brain cell will continue to die. As a result, our memory will deteriorate further and our muscle will become weak. To maintain this, you have to improve your diet and your concentration level. So we have talked a lot about storage. Now I will come to the point of retrieval. Have you ever wondered what retrieval means? Well, it's simply the process of assessing stored memories. You know, when you are taking a test and you need to remember something you learned in a order to answer the question, the retrieval is an action. So it is important to keep our brain active and functional. And the most important part is you have to stay physically and mentally active every day. For that, you have to stay organized. You have to eat healthy diet. And I hope you understood today's topic. If memory loss affects your ability to perform daily tasks, if you notice a decline in your memory, or if someone you know is concerned about memory loss, it is important to seek help. Feel free to contact us. Till then, take care and bye-bye.